The purpose of making a 180 degree turn after an engine failure is to maneuver the helicopter into the wind and establish an approach to a landing area. The amount of turn used is determined by the distance of the intended landing zone from the helicopter. When the landing area is behind the aircraft, a more dramatic turn is needed to ensure the helicopter can reach the landing zone. The further behind the helicopter the landing area is, the greater the turn that is required. These 180 degree autorotations can terminate as a straight in autorotation after the quick turn is made. If the landing area is in front of the helicopter with a tailwind component, the helicopter needs to be autorotated forward for a short period of time followed by the turn. It is imperative during these type of 180 autorotations that there is enough altitude left to complete the turn. There appears not to be enough altitude, a new landing zone needs to be established. If the landing area is abeam the aircraft, a moderate turn is made to align the approach path with the landing area. With all 180 degree autorotations, airspeed and rotor RPM need to be monitored during the turn. Airspeed will have a tendency to decrease and rotor RPM will have a tendency to increase. A trick to anticipate NR movement is by monitoring the G's through the turn. If the G's increase, or you get heavy in your seat, NR is about to increase and collective needs to be applied. If the G's decrease, or you get light in your seat, NR is about to decrease and the collective needs to be lowered. Once the turn is completed, the applied collective during the turn needs to be removed in order to establish the desired NR.